after you have a target, you build a list. First thing on the list is what? I already told you. PSU, okay? Uh, next on the list is you go see your faculty and tell them what you're interested in. You guys, this is not a solo project. It's actually a deeply faculty-involved project. So, you know, Skype with your faculty. Tell you, hey, Dr. Wilson, you know, I can come by your office hours and we could Skype. I want to help, I want your help to build a list of grad programs or I, just to discuss my grad school plans. That would be great. Uh, and then here's a couple of things you might want to know about. Uh, gradtrek.com is a new database designed by some faculty. Uh, it has 44,000 graduate programs in it. I like it a lot and I respect it a lot. Uh, hot tip, don't list a state. If you don't list a state, it will give you a nationwide list. If you list a state, it's going to think you're not very serious and just give you a little local list. Okay, and petersons.com has every accredited graduate program in the United States in it. So Petersons is a very robust tool to find grad programs. I like Grad Trek better, even though Petersons is one of my publishers. There's some, there's some books that you need to know about. Uh, the, how many med school people we got in here? Med school, med school. Okay, you need to know about the MSAR, which is the Medical School Admissions Requirements in the United States and Canada more properly, commonly known as the MSAR. How many psychology people in here? Psychology? Okay, there's always a lot of psych people. You need an APA book called Graduate Study in Psychology. Boring title, great book. Uh, it has the admit rates by specialization area. Uh, how many clinical psychologists do I have in here? Clinical, clinical. Okay, everybody go, aww. Uh. You want to know why, right? I know why, because yeah. I'm going hopefully into clinical psychology. Yeah. Well, I want you to get that book because it, it tells the admit rate uh, by each program. And if you want to get some places with a reasonable admit rate, about the only thing you can do is go for the PsyD, which is much more reasonable admit rates, or a new program that's not APA certified yet, and it will be APA certified before you finish your uh, doctorate. Okay, so what? I'm sorry, what? What's the new program called? Oh, any new program, any new, any new doctoral program in clinical psychology. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? That's not been APA certified yet. That's right. That, that, does that make sense? Okay, so you, it, it was, the, reason, the reason I should explain why, this is the hardest thing to get into in the United States. That's why we all went all. Uh, admit rates in clinical psychology are often 5%, 4%, 3%, 2%, and 1%. For perspective, Harvard Medical School has a 3% admit rate. So what these five people are trying to do is harder than getting into Harvard Medical School. Go on again. Aww. So <clears throat> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, good, good. Okay, so uh, how many schools do you look at? If you're looking nationwide, if you're going to apply to uh, a PSU and call it a day, I'm going to let you do that. But if you're going to look nationwide, I'm going to give you some numbers. I need you to look at 20 and apply to around 9 or 10 for the PhD, 4 or 5 or 6 for the master's, if you're going to, if you're going to do this. If you're applying to law school, how many lawyers do we have in here? Law schools, law, law, law. Not a lawyer in here? What has happened to America? <laughs> you guys, everybody used to want to be a lawyer. Then they took a look at what lawyers do for a living. <laughs> Did you know that 70% of lawyers would like to get out of the law and 60% would not recommend the law to a young person? But what's concerning to me is that 10% that want out but would recommend that you get in. What's up, <laughs> what's up with them? Have you thought about that? What's up with them? I think they're trying to replace themselves so they can escape. Uh, a normal number for law is 12. The pre-meds, normal number of medical schools is 15, okay? Master's degree, four, five, six. It's, it's really cutting it a little thin to just apply four places, you guys. 